So there's so many different types of automatic transmission out there. There's actually not that many, but companies tend to brand it differently. And the Volkswagen Audi group are certainly no different, adding to the confusion of the mix. So we've got the DSG, the Tiptronic, the S-Tronic and the CVT transmission from the Volkswagen Audi group. So are they all different? Well, DSG and S-Tronic are the same. They're just different names. So Audi used the branding S-Tronic, Volkswagen used the DSG naming convention. They both use a dual clutch transmission system. So they're engaging the next gear up or the next gear down in the background. So you get a seamless changeover. They paddle controlled as well. So you can make very quick adjustments to the gear that you're in. The Tiptronic is more of a traditional automatic gearbox. It uses a torque converter mechanism. And the CVT, the continuously variable transmission, I've done a video recently discussing that, but it basically comprises two cogs that are infinitely variable in size. You don't have set steps with each gear change. It's just continuous. So you'll notice in a CVT car that the engine note tends to stay the same. It keeps the same RPMs and the car's speed goes up and down without affecting the engine speed as the CVT transmission does its thing. So which is the right gearbox for you? Well, it depends what you're after really. The CVT tend to be perceived as the more economical gearbox. There's probably a few problems that you need to be aware of with CVT transmissions. They're certainly quite complex and expensive when things go wrong. But in terms of overall fuel economy and the day-to-day -day running, the CVT is probably your best bet. If you want the ultimate drive, the fastest acceleration times then the dual clutch systems the DCTs the DSG or the S-Tronic are really the ones to go for they are out and out the performance option and if you're like me you're used to driving a manual you like the quick response you get from a manual when you change gear and you don't like the lag that you get with the traditional automatic gearbox with the torque converter although they have improved quite a lot in recent times those S-Tronic or DSG gearboxes are certainly the ones to go for and I think they would convert a lot of people away from from a manual transmission. So again, you've got to look at the cost of the car and how important it is to you to have fast gear changes or fuel economy, or if it doesn't matter, just go for the standard Tiptronic with torque converter. So I hope this very short video has just cleared up some of the confusion about the naming conventions on the gearboxes and given you a little in-depth understanding of what they mean and what the significant differences are between them. If you'd like me to do more focused videos on each of these gearbox types, please let me know. Check out the one on CVT transmissions. I really enjoyed researching that. They're quite complex in the way they work and quite different from anything else that you may have driven. So thanks for watching. Please boot the like button. That really does help us to get out of there. Share this video with your friends as well. Please drop us a comment. We love to hear about your car, your plans for your car, what you're planning to do in the future. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. We'd love you to stay tuned and I've lined this video up for you that should help you to get the best performance from your car. Thanks for watching. See you in this next video.